Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's 360 video tour, we are going to be touring the PRI 3270-2050, which is by Sunshine Homes. Now, straight ahead, as you can see, we are going to be looking at the foyer right here. You have a very nice foyer. You have your accent um, wood paneling wall right there, shiplap. You also have a um, accent um, lighting and as well as a place where you can hang your car keys as well as your coats. You also have a bench right there where you can take off your shoes too and as well as the storage space. Over here we're looking into the living room first thing that I notice is uh, the carpet and they will also have the um, central heat and air vents in the floors but they will be along the outs outer perimeter of the wall which is very nice so it makes it a little bit easier to rearrange your furniture another thing that I noticed I really love the wood beams in the ceiling it's a nice size living room Now I'm not exactly sure of the um, dimensions of the rooms, but I will definitely study the floor plan and look at them and insert them in the video. So right here you would have your rear wood burning fireplace. I love the uh, wood mantle and all the stonework that they would have, and as well as a place to put your firewood. Another good look at your living room right here. I love all the uh, big windows that they would have. It let in plenty of natural light. And right on either side of the fireplace area, you would have um, cabinets and as well as floating shelves to put to display um, uh, accessories in the core. Very nice feature. Overall, this is a very nice living room. Let's check out the kitchen area. You have a nice big kitchen right here. I really love the um, center island area. Uh, you got plenty of space for um, chairs or stools. I really like the uh, pendant light that hangs over the center island. This center island is huge, you guys. I mean, you could plenty of space for food prep, and you you could lay like you can lay out a whole buffet on this center island. And I really love the uh, butcher block countertop that they put on there. That's very that, it gives it really gives it a um. A really rustic look. Oh, I like that refrigerator right there. That's different. Never seen that before. Like it has some kind of um, uh, TV monitor in it or something. Look like a LG, like a LG refrigerator. So I believe these are LG um, stainless steel kitchen appliances. 
I really love the um, hood frame of the stove, which is all wood. All right, it's looking over here. This would be the other part of the kitchen. Again, you're looking at the butcher countertop in the center island. I love all the space that you would have. You got lots of cabinet space. I love the sink that has the, um, the stainless steel and as well as the gooseneck faucet. And look at those three windows over the kitchen sink area. It makes washing dishes a true enjoyment. This is a very impressive kitchen. All right, let's check out the pantry space. Now this is not the world's largest pantry, but it's very adequate for this size of a home. And all the kitchen cabinets and um, drawer space really makes up for it. All right, so this is your dining room. Again, I love the uh, chandelier that they would have in the dining room. You have, again, you have lots of natural light in the windows. You got plenty of space along the back wall for a buffet hutch. Hey, you could probably put like a, a eight or a 10 seater in this dining room. Another good look at the dining room right here. Lots of space in your dining room. Very impressive kitchen and dining room overall. All right, so let's check out the hallway right here. This will be your hallway that leads to the guest bathroom, guest bedrooms, and the utility room. So we're gonna check out this bedroom first right here. This is the first guest bedroom. Now I'm usually not a real fan of carpet, but I actually like this carpet. It looks very plush to walk on. And it's a nice neutral color too. Definitely plenty of space for a, um, a queen size bed or two twin beds or, you know, whatever your, um, you know, situation is. Household situation. All right, so this is the closet. Nice, adequate size closet space. Another good look at your guest bedroom. And I love how thick the windows are. It really gives you an a, a, a idea how, how um, thick the insulation is in the walls. All right, so this is your hallway guest bathroom. Now this guest bathroom reminds me a lot of the bathroom that I looked at in the um, Lincoln model, which is by Franklin Holmes. Now, if you want to go check out that video, I'll be sure to put up in the link in the iCard above. Again, this Lincoln is called the Lincoln by Franklin Home Builders. But this, this bathroom is very is laid out very similar to that. I do like the fact that it has the two separate parts. All right, so this is a separate area for your um, toilet and your tub or commode. So right there you have your commode toilet. Have plenty of space. You also have a medicine cabinet as well as a um, standalone cabinet right there. So you can put extra accessories and toiletries in there. Over here, you would have your um, garden tub shower combo. And I really love the matching hardware that the shower would have along with the um, with the uh, bathroom sink. And over here behind this door right here, you would have a linen closet. 
You can either use it as a linen closet or for additional toiletry space. So whatever you want to use it for. All right, so before we go in there, let's check out this bedroom right here. It's your second guest bedroom. Now I do apologize about the circles. You know, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. You know, this is a virtual tour, so. But I really want you to focus on the uh, space that we're um, looking at right here. So this is a nice size uh, second guest bedroom. It looks like it could be very identical in size with the other room. Of course, over there is your closet right there. And again, uh, if you if you're a single person, you can definitely use um, one of these rooms as an office or study. At least that's what I would do. Let me know in the comment section what you would do with these bedrooms if you're a single person or if you just have a significant other. All right, so this is your utility room. Straight ahead, you have your um, back door. It actually matches the front door too. On the course over there, you have your electric box. All right, there you have plenty of space for a big uh, deep chest size freezer. You also have space to put a bench right there for additional mudroom space. So whatever you want to use it for. Right here you have your um, central heat and air furnace, which would be right there. And on the side of it, you would also have your water heater, which would be behind the access panel. Moving on. Okay, so right here, this would be your um, utility sink or or I would call it a soaker sink. Uh, nice deep sink where you can soak your linens or, or soak um, delicates items and you know you're good to go. Very, very handy. Over here you'd have a space of course for your washer and dryer hookup. And of course you have a um, hanging rack right there to um, let it air dry. And as well as additional uh, cabinet space. Overall, this is a very, very impressive utility room. Now, before we get down to the mass area, if, if you are new here and it's your first time here, um, welcome to the family. Um, I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. Welcome. We are very happy to have you here. Um, if you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps out with the algorithm of this channel. And again, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so before we go into the master, this is the entrance to the master. On the side right there, you would have your um, coat closet. Use it as a coat closet or a place to store like Christmas items or you know things like that. At least that's what I would do. But you know, it's really up to you what you want to do with the space. All right, so this is a master bedroom. We're stepping into the master. You got plenty of space in your master bedroom. Plenty of space for a um, king size bed, California king, or or a regular king. You could also put um, a Chester drawer, and as well as a, a regular dresser. Plenty of space for that. I would probably put like an accent reading chair over by the window. Let me know down in the comment section what you do with the master bedroom. I would definitely love to hear it. Get y'all a view from another angle right here. This is a very nice sized master bedroom. So right here be the entrance to your master bathroom. I love the uh, double style um, farm doors, barn doors that they would have right there. Now remember, if you don't like the barn style doors, you can always um, opt out and just get regular doors or you can just leave it open, whatever you want to do. So this is a very impressive master bathroom. I love all the natural lighting and of course the electrical lighting that they would have. 
and you have a bench right there where you can sit down on after getting out of the shower. Um, also have um, the storage space underneath the bench as well. I love that window um, that you can look at look at through, straight through the shower. It gives it a lot of character. Sunshine Homes did a very good job on um, laying out this design and this home. All right, it's a close look at this beautiful area right here. Over here, you would have your first um, of two closets in the master ba bathroom. They're not, it's not a biggest closet, but it's very adequate. And hey, if you have a lot of clothes, you know, you can always, your significant other, they can always use one of the, you know, closets down the hall in one of the bedrooms. It really depends on what your um, sit living situation is. It's really up to you though. But it's plenty of space for a person who has lots of clothes. All right, so let's take a look at this area. You would have your um, you have your um, you have your nice window that lets in all the natural light, and as well as your deep um, soaker garden tub. I really love the matching hardware on the garden tub too, that the sinks and the showers would have. And of course, over here is your sink, your sink. You have a um, nice vanity mirror with vanity lighting, as well as the recess lights. Now, me personally, where the area where the um, makeup station is, I'll probably lower the um, plug-in outlet and then put like a lower mirror right there. But that otherwise, it'll be absolutely perfect. And of course, you have plenty of drawer space right here too. And I really love the matching countertops that they would have in like in the kitchen area too. All right, so this is your shower, you guys. Look at this beautiful shower. Look at here. Look at all this space in the shower. You not only have a hand wand right there, you would also have a um, stationary Rainmaker shower head. Now I really love all the um, tile work in the shower too, and as well as the columns. And you also have your nice pendant lighting or recess lights as well. Again, I love this window. It really gives it a lot of character. Let's check over here. This would be your other sink. You have plenty of cabinet space on the side of it. Of course, you have your drawer space. Love the mirror. Love the lighting. Very nice. Let's check over here. This would be your um, water closet for your commode. So of course you have your commode and as well as the cabinet space over it. I really like this window right here. It gives in a lot of natural light. Now don't worry, you can always put you like a curtain or a blind right there for privacy. So that's no issue. Overall, this is a very nice home. Sunshine Homes really did a good job on uh, designing and laying out this space. All right, you guys, well, that will conclude the tour of this home. Uh, more in-person tours coming very, very soon. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. You all take care and have a wonderful day.